To record joint vibration analysis, we click on the JVA Quick preset. Now the first thing that happens is we're asked, what is the patient's maximum opening distance? To do that, what we like to do, you can use a Bowley gauge, but we have these range of motion cards that are available uh, by calling by our research and ordering them. You simply put the notch in the lower teeth of the patient, have them open as wide as they can, wide, wide, wide. There we go, 62 is her maximum opening. Now, when we enter this number, we want to add the overbite or subtract an open bite. So bite, let me see your teeth. Okay, she's got about a one millimeter overbite. So I measured incisal edge to incisal edge of 62 plus one millimeter of overbite means her jaw is actually moving 63 millimeters. The next question is lateral deflection at maximum opening. Now this is important, a very important concept to get. What we're looking for is, is her mandible at midline when she's fully open? Or when she opens, does it deflect and stay out to one side? Okay. If she deviates while opening but then comes back to midline, that value is zero. Now, with a range of motion of 63, we can be fairly confident that both condyles fully rotate and translate. At 63 millimeters, she'll not be able to deflect left or right. But if they have a shorter range of motion, what you can do is take your range of motion card, hold it right along the midline, have the patient open wide. Yeah, and she opens perfectly straight. So the lateral deflection, again, the position at maximum opening, for her is zero, but it could be some number of millimeters left and right. Unfortunately, without a jaw tracker, you have to estimate this number. So I'll put zero. Now, lateral excursions, as you can see by the asterisks here, lateral excursions, right lateral excursion, and protrusion are not required unless you're going to use the request a report feature. But I think in the interest of understanding it, this is how we record lateral excursions and protrusion. For lateral excursions, the best way is to take the uh, range of motion card. This number, this gradation down here on the bottom has an arrow. We just say, let me see your teeth. Bite. Put that arrow right on the center of the incisors. Okay, now slide your jaw all the way to the right. And that is 11 millimeters back to center. And all the way to the left. And that is about 12 millimeters. Very good. So. 11 to the right, 12 to the left, we can enter that. So here for the left we'll put 12, for the right we'll put 11. Now for protrusion, you'll see the gradations we have here on the right, sand, right side of the range of motion card. Bite, let me see your teeth. We just stick that right on the teeth, now stick your jaw out like a bulldog as far as you can, and she goes to 10. So we can enter 10 millimeters. The other question that the computer will ask when we do protrusion is what is the direction of the protrusion? Do they come straight out, do they come out and to the right, or do they come out and to the left? So go ahead and just protrude, stick your jaw out like a bulldog. She comes out straight at me, so I will simply click straight. Now when we click OK, joint vibration analysis will begin recording. I don't have the headset on. This is going to be a bit of a editing so jumble, yeah, but cut no, keep, we can keep okay. recording. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, if you want, Greg, I can always edit these two. I'm pretty quick at it too. Sure, so. sure. Well, we can we can divvy them up. Sure. You know. Um, okay. So to place the joint vibration analysis system on the patient, we have this little neck band here. Just put it around the patient's neck, let it hang loosely. You can tighten it here, bring it up a little closer if you'd like. We take our JVA headset, keeping in mind that the right sensor is the one with the red plug. We'll plug that in to the port. If you're using, if you have the EMG3, Joint vibration analysis inlet ports are on the bottom of the amplifier. If you're using JVA USB like I am here, they're on the top. So we just go ahead and plug those in, making sure that we keep the right sensor on the patient's right side and the left sensor on the patient's left hand side. All we're going to do is palpate right in front of the tragus, this little bump in their ear. We're going to palpate right in front of that, have the patient open, and I can feel the joint moving close. 
and we just want to place the sensors right over the temporomandibular joint and then with our thumbs bring the headband down so it's nice and secure. We want to look at the patient straight on and make sure that we don't we aren't real imbalanced with the way the headset is on the patient's head okay and we're ready to take our recordings we have our patient's range of motion so all we do once that is entered is we click OK now with JVA quick we have to estimate mandibular position in order to do that we have an animation of the, pa of the patient opening and closing on the right hand side of the screen the instructions we like to give to our patient is watch that animation okay when she opens, you open. When she closes, you close. But when you close, I just want to hear, just tap your teeth loud enough that I can hear them, okay? I don't want you to break any teeth, but just tap your teeth. So, some people like to do a little hand puppet with it simultaneously as well. Whenever you're ready, we're going to say, open wide, tap, wide, tap, wide, tap. Now what I'm doing as she's wide tapping, you'll see how I'm positioned. I'm looking at her out of the corner of my eye and I'm watching the animation at the same time, making sure that she is in time with that animation. Once we fill the screen with data, I simply hit enter and I have joint vibration analysis recorded. Now once we have it recorded, we can now take a bite registration. We could put any sort of a splint in that we want to test and immediately take another one. All we have to do is denote is this natural bite, whatever splint we put in, whatever bite registration we took, um, and we can do an immediate in the office before and after comparison. 